Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Today you got me, Karen. And me, Alison. Yay! We're here to tell you so much about... What is it, Al? Cardstock. That's the secret of the day. The secret of the day. So we have got the complete guide to Tonic Studios Craft Perfect Cardstock and Paper Collection. Look at this pile of paper. What have you got there, Al? If I turn it around, oh my word, it's a rainbow. It is a rainbow, a veritable rainbow. Got. So we've got to start off with. This is just the classic cardstock. So this is our two sixteen GSM. We use it for so many we things. Do. do you know? I've got we notes. Do. Look at you go! We're oh, so prepared no. for this. I know. So we are going to tell you exactly what we like to use each of our cardstocks for. So. To begin with, we've I'm got. I'm going to try and show you some colours. <gasps> Look, at, Look this. at this. Right, so this is our classic cardstock. It's 216 GSM. GSM, it's grams per square metre, so it's how thick the card is. So the higher the number, the thicker the card. The lower the number, you get more towards paper. This would be, I would say, a medium. It's a mid weight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We do use this, this for so much. It's absolutely amazing for die cutting. It comes in such a wide range of colours. This is your starting point to me. It is. What's your favourite colours? Yeah, you're going to find it in there. It's going to be here. And that's where you start. That's mine. That's mine. If it's... you see any packaging and it's got this, <laughs> I've usually made it. <laughs> right. So we will say it is very good for die cutting. It's very flexible. So if you've got a curved, curved box. There is no way I would have made this with anything thicker than a no. 216. Because, because how are you going to get this to curve any other way? You know, that's that's round. Yeah. That is round. If you had anything thicker, you'd what have would a rugby you have? ball. You would. You definitely would have a rugby ball. Because so, it would want to, where the glue point is, it would just want to make an oval, yeah. wouldn't it? It would yes, not it make would. a proper circle. You couldn't get that to curve no. as you'd want it to. No. So we use 216 for anything we need to curve, like these as well. If you look at that one as well. That is curved. That, that everywhere is, that is very good everywhere so we would use 216 for this and if we wanted to add weight we'd add another 216 on top of it yes any layers are going to thicken that box yeah and make it more substantial again the champagne bottle champagne bottle it's got a curve so what do we use we use 216 you can see for all these panels you can see this curve it's it's got here just the, the gentle curve of the bottle, so you'll need a 216 for that. So you can see that there. So we will, I'll go back to my notes. I'll Anything that's you. good detail, I would say, is a yes. 216. Yes, so it's got the weave texture, but on the reverse, okay. it's also got a more flat, can you see it there or are you going to see I... it on the side? What yes. if I go there? Is that better? Look at that. You can definitely you... see that that's flat. And Even then through that turn it, packaging. Yeah. You can see the weave there. So you've got a choice then. You have. You? you have. It's very, very good for mats and layers. Because you've got to think about the weight of your fin finished product as well. Absolutely. So if you've got something, say a card... If you put too many layers on the front, it's going to become top heavy yeah. and it's going to fall over. Yeah. If you take those layers down, bring them back with 216, then you're going to take some of the weight off that card. And don't and forget, there's the cost of postage as well. There is the cost of postage, you're right. So I think, I think... But also die cutting, if you've got a lot of detail, Yes. this is perfect for that, it isn't is. it? It is, it's your crispness yeah when you're when you're cutting detail if you take something too thick then it leaves fibers it does 
It does. It's not going to, because a dye isn't a blade. A dye works with pressure, doesn't it? So you're, it's the, the, you've got the plastic of the mat, you've got the metal ridge on the dye, yeah. which isn't a blade, it's just a metal ridge. And with the pressure, it just pushes against it, it and does. that's what creates your die cut. So if your card is nice and thin, like this, you're going to get a nice crisp looking So cut. if you've got detail like this, that is what you're going to need. Yeah. Because there's a lot of detail and it's very, very fine. It is. There. Look how fine that is. It's I beautiful. Know. I know. Yeah. It's almost like you've drawn a line, isn't I it? I know. But again, if you've got folds in your box as well. Oh, yes. If I bring yes. this one in. You see the folds? Do you want to go to the side, Yeah, Al? shall I go this way? Yeah. Is that? Oh, hang on, I've got to find my spot. You're over towards, yeah, you've no, covered your spot. I've covered my spot. You've covered your spot. Where am I going? Let's bring some of this out of the way, is it? There it is. Where's my spot? <laughs> if you could see. Do you want to pull that book out of the way? Yes. Do you know, we've, this table is so full. That's Look how crisp those curves are on there. Yes. Yeah, if we went thicker, these curves wouldn't be as defined. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. But they, they would are... Really difficult to do as well. Yeah. Really difficult to fold. And it's perfect for a small box. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about bigger boxes later on. You've got the star box there, which is a, a really good example. That looks like a large box. But each of these little drawers has got a casing. So if I turn it that way, you can see yeah. it's a casing for each one. It's got a little sleeve, isn't it? And each of these casings make up the star. Mm -hmm. So each of the components, even though you've got a big box, is small components all joined together. Yeah. And each of those components is made with 216 GSM. Yeah. Because there's a lot of support in there. You've got joins on the curves. So plenty of support for 216 GSM. No problem there at all. Are you take taking away? Oh, just taking all my colours. <laughs> oh, do you know colours. the colours in this set? It's amazing. Have a little look on the website because the colours are adorable. You wouldn't believe the range that that it actually comes in. It yeah, such a wide range of colours. So, what else have we got? Okay, next on our agenda, we both got cards here. I Looking know. Very professional. Next on our agenda. We're yes. going to look at our 300 GSM. Now, I've only got three of these because this just comes in the three colours. You can see those there. You've got your white, you've got your ivory white, and you've got your jet black, which we would use four. We would use this for bigger 3D projects. So you, this is where you're bringing in your bigger boxes. And your card bases, yeah. um, your memory box for the covers of your memory box, anything you want sturdy or it's a large project. Um, the finish on it is smooth, mm -hmm. so it's perfect for stamping. So we've got a little card, haven't we? That's I been stamped. Have. I've got that one here. I can just show you that there. So the finish on that. Is beautiful. Oh, look at There crisp. is nothing to interfere with the crispness. It's is there. so crisp because it's so smooth. So you've got the ink in looking beautiful, stenciling and the uh, stamping on that one. Yeah, beautiful finish. Very, very nice. It will cut. Yes. But fine detail may be an issue and you mm -hmm. may get a little bit of those fluffy edges or you may find that it doesn't cut in certain places in your machine, mm. possibly in the centre of your plate, I would say, that you would struggle. Yeah. So have a little think of the cardstock that you're using then. Um, it's difficult to curve, as we just spoke about with the round box. Yeah. You will get that oval. Um, what else was I going to say? And glue in sometimes if, if you've got curves. Yeah, you need to hold them in place more, yeah. don't you? You really need to to hold that construction until your glue will set. 
it. So you need which, pegs to hold it, which sometimes yeah, you get that. You get the peg mark there. Yeah, you do so want that. We would say with this, we definitely like it for plain, larger construction. We like yeah. it for card blanks. We like it for stamping. We do. The lighter colours. And the dark, actually, because we've yeah. got embossing, obviously. Yeah. Um, what else do we like this for? Is that, is it? And your larger boxes? Away? No, we're not going over. I was just checking. Just Are we enough. going over to the next card? No, we're not. Why have we only got three colours in this? Mm. Because you bring your colours in. This is just your base. Yeah. This is not your whole project. This is your base. So your colours come from your other cardstock. And your papers. You can see exactly. here. Exactly. This is a memory book layout. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. It is Beautiful. lovely. I'm just going to open that up. And this is where you keep your colours. You know, your colours come in here with your papers, which we will speak about. And <laughs> you've got your lovely construction there. For memory books, you've got that, that good that strength there. You want something that's going to last for a memory book. You it's do. your memories. Yeah. You want it to last your lifetime and going yeah. into the next generation's oh, lifetime. You do. Because you want to show people the memory box, mm -hmm. so you want something sturdy in there. You do. And that would be your 300 GSM. And of course, cards. Yes, so it's you your base it, for your cards. You want a nice, strong, I mean. You can hear that, can't you? If that's on my mantelpiece, I don't want that going all wobbly and, you know, sometimes you've got a cheap card. I don't yeah. want a cheap card. Don't, yeah. don't give me a cheap card. I want my card to be standing. I want it to to stay upright. There's nothing don't, worse than it just goes. Boom. Yep. <laughs> we don't want that. We no. Want that. No. So yeah, we like to use a nice strong 300 GSM for a base. There, you can see. And again, I think if you've got these two, you can do anything. Yes. You can do any project, any 2D, any 3D. Perfect. These are the classic and the smooth are your main, main they are parts, standards, aren't they? Aren't they? Of any Anything craft. else is decoration. It is. Isn't it? It, is. it really is. So if I pop these yes, over here. We're gonna move that one swiftly along. I shall. And okay. then we are going to move on to our pearlescent card. Right. Oh, no. look at that colour. Love that. So, our pearlescent card. Look at the range of this. Again, these are your luxury. They are. We've moved into luxury range now. We've gone from basic. Yeah. We're up to first class now. First class, are we? <laughs> Business class? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Right, so your pearlescent card. Now, this is a 250 GSM. It is. So, this is more than the cl uh, the classic not as much as the smooth which obviously you've got that strength in the 300 yeah. but you've got this this is a 250 this will do for construction again yeah so we've got these here and your Look your construction pieces we've got this is another box that's a, another pearl there isn't it so the box is made, oh, let me bring it over here. Oh, I got the right spot there. Yeah. So the box and the strap are made with the pearlescent card. And then we've added decoration onto that. So all this inside is all your majestic. Beautiful. In your pearlescent. Beautiful. So it's pearlized and colored on both sides. It is great for construction, but do consider your adhesive. You're not going to get much uh, luck with sort of tissue tapes and things like no. that. No, you need something a bit substantial. You do need something with a bit more adhesion with that. So we always use Deluxe. We love our Deluxe we adhesive. Do. We do. But because it's got that sheen to it, if you're gluing pearl to pearl, you are going to have to hold that for a yeah. little bit longer because you've got a coating on both. Yeah. So yeah. you've got to wait for that glue to um, sort of absorb into the coating a bit more. It Absolutely. will. It will do it. Yeah. It's not anything that's not going to happen. But it does take a little bit longer. 
Um, embossing folders. Beautiful emboss for embossing, but it's beautiful for that accent of mm. gives you a sheen, not a shine. Yes. So you've got that little subtle sheen of new. If you're a little bit shiny adverse, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. You know, sometimes merry cards and things like that can be a little bit garish. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want a little bit more subtlety to your project. Then I would say this is your range. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A, did we say there's a white core? We haven't yet. It does die cut beautifully. Does. Absolutely no problem at all. Because... We've got that 250. So we say anything around sort of 240 will cut pattern dies really, really well. It has got a white core. So when you do emboss it, you can, if you want that sort of shabby chic look, you can sand that back and yeah. you get a little bit of white core. You could also ink that thing. Yeah, you could add a little bit more. You could, you could. It gives you that little bit of distress. And, as you can see, we've got a beautiful range of colours yeah. in that as well. And we've gone from the very subtle colours mm -hmm. to the dual colours as well. Yes. I mean, look at these. You've got gold, silver. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The red velvet, the navy yeah. dazzle, your jet black, mm -hmm. your pearl white as yes, well. Yes, you've got all the white. Every colour is in the range. Very, it's a beautiful very nice. range, and it's a range we use a lot of. We do. I mean, I tend to think of that as being like quite wedding -y as well. Yes. So, you know, if you're making, I used to make a lot of wedding invitations, I always use Pearlescent card for my wedding invitations. This could also be, mind you, card blank, couldn't it? Yes, it could. It could. It is strong enough because it's got that coating. Mm. And it, again, it's that luxury. Mm -hmm. You're not going to use it for a, I don't know. A quick little thank you card, no. but you may well use it for your wedding card, yeah. a special anniversary, special birthday, mm -hmm. special person. <gasps> You're going to give a little bit more with this, I think. Yes, yes you are. So, moving on. Moving on. Right, we have got our mirror card. large selection this time. We have. Because oh we've my got word, look at this. Mirror and we've got we've got satin iridescent mirror as oh, well. Yes, and so I've this got is, a bit of satin. Yeah, the here. satins, mirrors, iridescents. What's the difference? Let me just show a the difference yeah. in a satin and a mirror. Let me find the red satin. Oh, 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 oh have oh, I got it? Yeah. <laughs> Bear with, I'll get there now. We got the red mirror. Right. Yeah. So if I hold Oh, look at these. So you've got so this the three is our there. three reds. So this one here, you can see there's a sheen. You can see that, mm -hmm. but it's not a glare. It's not. You can see the mirror in the middle. A lot of sheen, a lot of shine. Mm -hmm. But then you bring in the iridescent mirror. So you've got the colour there. But you've also got that rainbow going through it as well. And that is a lovely effect mm -hmm. because if I bring this box in, if I go to the side camera here, they are the iridescent mirror card. Oh, wow. Look at it shining. It just gives that extra wow, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It does. And if you're doing paper piece in... It is the thing that brings the attention, brings the pop. eye it is into that pattern, isn't it? You know, that is pretty much a one colour pattern there. Yeah. But once you add in that little bit of iridescence, mm -hmm. then I think it looks beautiful. I love a mirror. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love a mirror. I think the satin, the mirror and the pearl, they are all your luxury mm -hmm. cardstock. They are a little bit more expensive. But you're only going to use small amounts of these. Yeah. These are going to be your accents. Mm -hmm. You're not going to use great big layers of it. If you are, you're wasting it. You get in the middle of it. If you're you are taking the middle of <laughs> it. If you have a card, say we had that stenciled card there. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Right. So on the back here, we've got a pearlescent card. If I hold it up there. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> so it's a pearlescent card on the back. 
But imagine that was a mirror card. It would look equally as gorgeous. It would give you that little bit of shine around the edge. But I would be taking out the big part of the middle and using that on another project because I wouldn't be wasting all that. It's like I say, it's an expensive product. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's a little bit more expensive. Yeah, <laughs> it's necessary. It we is. do need it. It definitely is. Right, so this again is 250 GSM grams per square meter, which means it is more than the classic not as much as the smooth again so it's it's the same thickness but it's got a coating but again. it's got the coating yeah so it's it's really it's quite a strong it is card isn't it it is if you wanted to make your own die cut uh, stencils it's a piece Perfect. of scratched mirror that yes. you keep <laughs> yes you can't get rid of your scratch mirror if you scratch it you know you think oh i've ruined that but well, sometimes you, you can't die cut it though mm. and you wouldn't notice it. Oh, indeed. indeed. You wouldn't even notice it. Because a nice sentiment out of these and things like that, that's what we like, don't we? But right, sometimes so they, they you've are, got sorry. something that you've, you've had in your stash for ages, yeah. then I would make a, a stencil out of it. So they are single-sided. Uh, they've got a white Always white reverse. on the back. You'll see them there. They've always got that. Um, you've got the mirror, the satin, and the iridescent in the range. They are perfect for accents and layers, but you can use to construct. Just be careful what you're constructing with it, because it can crack. It can crack on the edges. With <laughs> She's bringing oh, out favourite colours, that would she? that. Turkish tea. That Turkish, Turkish turquoise. turquoise. Oh, my word. Look at those together, silky sky. <laughs> you have to be careful as well with your adhesive. Yes. You do need a wet adhesive, but sometimes you do need the quick grab of a red line tape. But add a bit of wet in as yeah. well. Be careful if it's small tabs you're gluing with it. Mm. Because if you don't get enough glue or tape, edge to edge they are going to pull apart and they pop yes they pop away from from what you're making so your main piece is just gonna pop apart it will fall apart i know i know it and is. then you get it then because you've spent so much time it is disappointing this is to show that it can be done it can be done yeah so we had the box in our craft perfect yeah but we've also got it in our satin card yeah and look so it can be done it can you just have to be very very careful with your construction and with your adhesion you know those folds are just as good mm -hmm. i would say maybe you need a little bit more experience Possibly. to be making boxes Possibly. with your satin yeah but Possibly. also look at the deboss feature that you get mm. oh, oh it's tilted. perfect look perfect for deboss can you see you there yeah I'm wondering where I can put... Look at that. Because sometimes we get deboss sentiments in our die sets. We do. A satin, miri, iridescent or pearl is perfect mm -hmm. for those. It really is. When you die cutting this, be aware of your plates. If you have got very well-loved plates, shall we say? Yes. <laughs> Where Which you we have. die cut a lot, a lot, a lot. And then you get scarring on your plates. Well, you can get the scarring transferred to your cardstock. Yeah. So if you do find that, the best thing to do is to cut around your die cut. Yeah. Roughly with scissors. Yeah, never put the full never sheet Never put the full in. sheet through. No, don't do just, that. Just cut what you need. Pop that on your plate, tape it down, and away to go. Yeah. And always put your tape on the outer edge. Yeah. Not going over into your die cut that you're trying to keep. Adhere, ad adhere that on the edge Or you instead. could put a piece of paper on the top. You can. A piece of copy paper. Mm -hmm. As thin as you can find. Yeah. 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 Be careful, mind. Don't put a piece of craft perfect because that linen effect will yeah. come through you, on You'll it. have that as well. Yeah. <laughs> We've done all this. Oh, we have. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound as though we have. <laughs> many this is times. all our experience. We're many, sharing many it all. Um, but of course, as well, the other thing we have to say is 
we do this in a wonderful range of colours. I mean, look at these. I, oh, look at that. <laughs> look, I wasn't sure if you were going to see these. But that is the iridescence. They're amazing. Oh, my word. Look at them. Absolutely. The wonderful. lights are definitely doing them justice. Yes, they are. Right, but I would say oh, small oh. amounts of this, not. <laughs> I'm trying to for a long. How rude! <laughs> How very rude! <laughs> this to me is small amounts because yes. I think if you use an awful lot of it, it can, it can go like to the tacky side. Garish, it? for it? Yeah. It's garish with that. With that. Right. What is our next one? Next we have glitter. Mm. Glitter. Oh, Can and again. We've got a cracking range of this Ooh, as well. Look at that. Wow. I love a glitter card. I know some oh, people not are it. not, you know, it's not it's not their cup of tea, shall we say? I or mean, it is mine. <laughs> at certain times of year. Yes. Or on certain projects. Definitely. I love it. If I you're not a it. huge, huge fan. Then go for the ombre. Yeah. Because the ombre is stunning as well. And when you look at the ombre, you think you've just got a sheet of cardstock there. Well, when you finish there, you can see it's like having two sheets. It is. It is. Because the difference, although it's fading away on this one, when you put another sheet by it, it looks like you've got two colours. It's beautiful, I isn't it? it? I love beautiful. it. Beautiful. Like Right, so what are we going to say about our glitter card? It is 250 GSM again. It is a low shed. Yeah. If you're not a glitter fan, if you think, oh, I'm, there's no way you're getting a pot of glitter with me, mm -hmm. then try one of these. They're not encased, because sometimes you get glitter that's encased. In that, when you have an, a, like a glue over the top of it, it makes it very hard to die cut. Mm. There is no glue over the top. You can feel this glitter, but there is no shed or very, very minimal. We can't say no with that one. There's nothing because on my it, I know, because possibly you could get the odd flake here and there. There is still nothing. But with this ombre, nothing. there is no shed. You, can, this you is can't feel that absolutely glitter. Absolutely super, super fine glitter. Whereas you can feel you the can't feel on the glitter one. on there. This one is is super super smooth. So you've got Beautiful. very, very little there. And they both the die cut really, oh, really, really well. Do. They really do. Make sure you tape it down well. Tape it to your plate as well. Yes. I like to with, with these. Yeah. Cut out around your die, mm -hmm. however big your die is. Tape the die and the paint and the card to your plate, mm -hmm. and nothing is going to move because there's nothing worse than it's moved in the in the die cutting machine, and you've wasted half a sheet of glitter you've card. You've got to cut it again. There is nothing more frustrating. Who's been there? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's me. <laughs> again, this has got the white reverse, so you've got the single sided glitter card. It is two fifty GSM, so nice and strong. Um, it is good for die cutting, but be careful with small, intricate little bits of detail. Mm. So, although you can cut detail dies with it, I'm looking near what I've got. I know, it's, we've put it behind there. Yes, yeah, behind. Yeah. It's... You can cut detail dies with it, but it's the it layer is, behind. It is tricky, so sometimes. And it's because of the, the the kind of the bumpy nature of it. Really, yes. you've got the texture of the glitter, haven't you? Yeah. So it's not as clean to go through a die cut. No, machine. it's not a smooth card, no. is it? This one is. This one is. Yeah. This, this one will. This, this one will die cut anything, <laughs> anything at all. But you do have the bumps on this one. But this one as well. What I've just noticed. This is three hundred gsm. Oh, we should well, really give it a little, a little section of its own. Absolutely, <gasps> three hundred glitter. Wow. We just put it in with our glitter card. We, we didn't even think of it. Oh, glue in this. You need wet glue. Yes. If you're gluing glitter card to glitter card or anything on top of glitter card, 
wet glue mm -hmm. because a dry adhesive is just going to peel straight off it yeah. and a dry adhesive we mean our tapes tapes mm. our um sheets of mm -hmm. um of adhesive anything like that it's just going to peel away yeah it's got to be wet you adhesive. need the wet to kind of go in between these little yeah. uh granules these little grains of, of yeah. glitter but again i would say this is accents of it oh definitely, definitely. you can you're wasting it if you're making a box oh, out of it you are wasting <laughs> it you put this on top of your main layer. Mm. That is where you get your accents from. And with the accent, then it really brings it, it to the eye, doesn't it? It does. It really does. And that's what you want. Yes, yeah. Um, we've got a lovely range of colours in this again. Absolutely. You can look at it. I mean, I'm looking at the reds, the greens, the purples, the blues. That is Christmas. I was going to say jewel tones. But then we've also got your very girly colours. These are your unicorn colours mm. to me. We've got your tropical tide. We've got your candy floss. Look how soft oh, this love is. Love that. You know that's your rose gold, isn't it? It's beautiful. Pink frosting. <gasps> Stunning. Absolutely, Absolutely. beautiful. Mm. And then we've got your lovely gentle colours as well. Cobalt blue and your berry fizz. Lovely. Absolutely. And I think what you'll find as well is you will find a colour of card to go with whatever yes, you will. glitter card. If you're buying the Craft Perfect range, you're buying an inclusive yeah. range where you'll find a mirror to go with your glitter, to go with your classic, to go with... Do you know what you I mean? Will. You've always you got will. something it to It is accent. coordinated, isn't it? It really, really is. There's two goals. Oh, well, there's obviously well. a gold, but there's also a Welsh gold. <gasps> Got to have that. <laughs> so the Welsh gold, the difference is it's more of a redder gold. It's more rich, isn't it? It is. It is. And that's what Glitter Card says to me. It's opulence and it's rich and warm and... It's anxious, isn't Ooh. it? <laughs> You've gone all my gel over. Oh, I found <laughs> Where's um, the big crowd? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we do we do use this very sparingly because we're very mean with our glitter we card. Are. But we even like the black it. glitter, look, oh, you can look see that. that. That's the night sky, isn't it? It is. That it is, is your night sky. They're absolutely beautiful. You know, even if you're making cards for boys mm -hmm. or into space and things, that is what you need. So just to go over, the main glitter cards are 250 GSM. The ombre glitter card is 300 GSM, single-sided again, but absolutely no shed at all. It's a finer glitter. That's that's the main thing, I think. The way it's been it's been manufactured is a finer glitter. It's so beautiful. It's, it is, it is beautiful. Yeah. I just want to show the white as well. If I bring this to the side camera. Are you able to see the twinkle in there? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at it. It is... I mean, if, if glitter is not your thing, I would still say you need a sheet of this. Oh, definitely. In your craft. It's in snow. Your craft stash. It is snow. <laughs> it is snow. But you imagine a little girl with just a tiny little bit mm. of this on the card. There's little bit, bits of blue, little bits of pink in there. It's beautiful. It is stunning. I love beautiful. it. I love it. Okay. And there's a bit of green. Oh. There's a bit of green. Moving on. We have got... Oh, Vela. Oh, <laughs> I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Vela. We have four ranges of Vela. Wow. Did you not I'll know? I'll have the pearled and you have the... the I'll have plain. the plain. Okay, so the ve the plain vellum comes in pure white and vintage white. So the vintage white is a little bit more creamier than the white. And it's also thicker. It is. It is. Let me let me get it out. We haven't Ooh. talked about thickness, have we? Let me get the two pages out so yeah, you can well, see. Yeah, the same as well. Yeah. So one is 100 GSM, one is 150 so it's not thick enough to make cards out of, 
but it is thick enough to back apertures mm. with and to make lanterns yeah um oh anything like that isn't yeah. there windows in yeah card Win boxes in anything like that so there's your 100 gsm I don't know whether you can see the difference in that. If I turn them slightly, mm -hmm. there's more of a flop with this one. And this is what we do. We do a, we do a floppiness test, <laughs> we don't we? Do. So if we're quite often, we will take our card out of the packaging, put it on the shelf, and then go, mm, what one's this? And then we'll hold it up and we'll go, this one's flopping more. So that's not as thick as that one, because yeah. that one's more rigid. So we, we, we do a floppiness test. As we well. do. So that one, there's the 150. If you can see, it does curve. Yeah. But there's a bigger curve. Yeah. This one is a tight Straight from my hand. Yeah. This one goes out a little bit. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe yeah. it. Yeah, and that's how you know that that's the 150. And that's the one that so, you can feel the difference. You can yeah. feel that that's thinner than that yeah. one. But you know, you've you've got you've got a floppiness test. But I would say again, depends on the size of the windows you've yes. got. If you've got a larger window, go for the heavier vellum. Mm -hmm. If you've got a small window, like say you've got a teeny tiny, I'm looking around you. I don't think I've got anything with vellum on it here, I'm afraid. I, I, I if you've got something, me. say say mm -hmm. you're looking at this die cut on the top here, and you wanted to cut that in, then I would say you could use 100 GSM for that. Because it's a small area. It's not taking any weight, there's nothing going to be pushing against it. I'm looking at this, and I think that is probably the 100, maybe the 150. Um, you can't do I'm the drop looking, test. Can I can't I? do the drop test. I'm looking at the card maker behind the camera. We haven't told you today. We've got a different camera person. I can't even say cameraman because we've usually got a cam who films us. But today, Leo is filming us. She is. So she's... She's having a debut. <laughs> a debut, <laughs> a debut of, of filming and, and doing all things techie. So, yeah, Leo made this card. So that's why I'm going, it's the 100. And she's shaking her head, going, no, it's the 150. Because it's been embossed as well. So that is, if you were going to use this for anything. Oh, can you move that box for me, Al, please? I've lost me. Oh, sorry. I've lost me, tape. There we are. So if you were looking there, so we've embossed that and we've stamped on it. So you can see it adds that, just that, little texture a little bit more texture a little bit more another medium on your card isn't it so it but it's gives unobtrusive you, you can still yeah. see what's going on behind it it's trans it's not transparent it's translucent it's translucent that's the word i'm looking it's for it's lovely see? See, she's got the words and everything. i got one word oh, right, okay. <laughs> don't ask for any more <laughs> so as well as the white that we've got so the vintage and the uh what are they called sorry um, Pua. Pua white. Pua, Pua white. white, vintage white. You've got a pearled silver. I don't know whether you can see the difference. And a pearled gold. There's not a lot of yeah, difference. Yeah, you can see Just a difference. Slightly. Yeah, you can. Yeah? You can. There we um, are. You can't see how pearled this is actually in the packaging, so... Let's just open it, shall we? I think Let's it's the thickness, it actually, that's changing the colour. Could be. Because this one is the pure white. That one is the vintage. Right, so you've got the pearls, No, I got that wrong. Silver. That's the vintage, that's, that's the, the pure. pure. You can see a little bit of Yeah, but I think it's it. the thickness that's changing it. Mm -hmm. And then you've got... Oh, I love the colour on this see, one. Can you see the pearly sheen on these? So we've got them there. So you've got a little bit of iridescence that you can see. Yeah, you can see yeah. that. And if I do it on this one as well, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Again, you're bringing in a bit of luxury again, you are. aren't you? I would definitely say this is a luxury pro uh, product. This could be a whole wrap on your card as well. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? I haven't done that for a while. Mm. Mm. You right, may see so, it. <laughs> uh, so these are, like we say, the, the thicker one, the vintage white is the 150. The other three in the range are 100 GSM. So you can tell then it's a finer paper, it's a 
a floppy <laughs> when we do our <laughs> floppiness test. Um, so you can see what we've got there. Um, it is great for layers. It is. Yes. And if you're adhering layers, if you glue in layers, you need to, your glue is going to show. Yes. Basically, whatever you use. Yeah. You can buy something that it'll say, oh, it's for sticking velvet. It'll always you're show. You're always going to see so it. So you're always going to have to put something else on top of it. Yeah. So wherever your glue is. Or you put this as a layer around and adhere it on the back. Yes. Yeah. And then you can pop your embellishment on the front. Butterflies. These look beautiful. Fairy wings. Yes. Um, yes, I'm trying to think do. what else now. Anything you want a little bit of floatiness. Beautiful for flowers, yes. for uh, when you curve flowers yes. and things. Yeah, uh, what snowdrops else? I'm thinking oh, now. Look. I know, I've got flowers in my head now. <laughs> so if you want to see, and it, it gives that vintage look as well, it does. doesn't it? It does. Um, it's look. We've got lovely notes here. Leo's written. I know. I know. Um, have we covered them all? It that's can what be I'm used looking. to give structure between cuts in layers on box panels. So that's your windows. Yeah. yeah. So like Al was saying earlier, when you're going to put something behind, if you're making a box and you're cutting into it, this will just give you that strength behind. Yeah. Because you've got another hundred GSM there, then, haven't you? But again, consider how big your box is as to yeah. how much strength you need. Yeah. Because once you've cut an aperture into your box, that's your weakest point. Mm -hmm. You would add in a little bit extra strength, but not obliterating everything yeah. from inside with this vellum. It's perfect if you want to make any type of lantern and yeah. things like that, isn't it? Or even just to see a little bit. Maybe you've got chocolates wrapped in mm. nice foiled paper. And you'd like to add a hint of what's inside. Yeah. But not show it all immediately. So we that's can this. print onto this as well. So that is... Oh. Uh, but I would, I would say... I would say I would stick to the white. Does it need to be... Printing. Is it a late, any printer or...? I don't know. Leo has Leo has given me some notes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you've used inkjet. Mm. Oh, excellent! Excellent. But I would say I probably wouldn't print onto the pearled. I would probably print onto the white, because then you've got yeah. a chance of that drying. You leave it to one side, or you heat set it with a leave heat it tool. Leave it overnight, David. Yeah. Yeah, leave it to one side. Because I was be bound to put my finger through it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. So those are our vellums. Should I pop them over here? Yep. What we got next, Carl? We've got one <gasps> solitary Rough little favourite. Favourite. This needs to be hidden from me because I will use it on love everything that. love it oh. this again is an intermediary isn't it between your craft perfect mm -hmm. and your 300 it's a 280 yeah so it's perfect for construction perfect for card blanks yeah perfect for embossing mm -hmm. look at this if i turn it over it's two colours. And you've got a different shade on the back. So if you're making a box just out of this colour and you want layers or a card, yeah. you've got two layers just in the one card. Uh -huh. um, stamps really well. It stamps well. Die cuts perfectly. Yeah. You can colour onto this with pencils. Mm -hmm. It looks, oh, I don't know, it's something special, yeah. isn't it? If you're die cutting onto this, though, because it is, it has tipped over from that 240 sweet spot, it is 280, so you may have trouble with some yeah. of the more intricate patterns. But, again, it doesn't mean to say you can't do it. Give it a try. Just means... Give it a try. Just means that you may need to run it through a couple more times. Yeah. Or a little shim where it hasn't cut. A little cut. shim where it hasn't cut, yeah. Yeah. I love it. I it love craft cards. It does give you really, really nice layers. So if, you're, if you've made something perhaps a little bit thinner from the classic card 
if you want to add some strength, you can always put yes, some craft can. with you it, can. can't you? And you've got that to it. Don't forget as well, if you've made a box, I know we're going backwards mm. now, but if you've made a box out of classic <laughs> card and you think, oh, it's a little bit floppy, you can always line it from the inside. Yes, you can. We haven't even spoke about that. Yeah. As well as from the outside. Yeah. So never and give up. And if you have made a card that's a little bit top heavy and falling on its front, you line the inside. You do. And you line the back. And you make sure that thing doesn't <laughs> fall over on your mantelpiece. You don't want the one that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really good and we make card blanks out of it. We do. And we make so much out of this. Oh, yeah. Memory books. Perfect yes. for memory books. Yes. Um, I'm trying to have a little think now. It is just a good all-rounder. The only thing I would be very dubious We've about a nice, um, would be made out of it there. your curved things. Because yes. again, I would say it's too thick for that. It is quite thick, isn't it? And that's where you, you have a little bit of problem with so that. So this is so. our memory book. Ooh, how far forward can we go? There. there. So inside this is a box holding a memory book. Yeah. But you can see there how well it it's... Um, it's it been, is a good, sturdy box. It is. And I mean, this has been around our, our office. craft room and <laughs> yeah. office. And yeah, it, it is pretty sturdy. It's lovely. Right. Shall we move sideways from this? It's not really moving on. No, we're moving sideways. Oh. We have got a foiled craft. These are something special as well, they I think, are. aren't they? They are. I'm going to put the craft <gasps> My favourite. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I'm going to put our colours together because we've got a white base. We've got the grey base, which is more like a grey board. We've got the craft base, which is what we've just looked at. Yeah. And we've got the black base. Look at these. I mean, the candy stripe. Oh, I love it. I don't know if you could pick the colours up on screen. That's the, the red. Problem. That's the red. That's the red. Then we have the rose gold triangles. But you may look and think, oh, gosh, that's a bit busy. Just think of one little strip of this down the edge yeah. of a card. Yeah. Or one little strip around a box. You could make loops of a ribbon bow and a little strip around mm. it. Just use it in small amounts. It's one of those things that you treat carefully, I think. And what we wouldn't have thought of with this is that it takes colour so oh, it well. It does. It's one of Al's little specialities. So I love it. if she hasn't got um, a cardstock that matches what she's doing at that precise time, she'll get her aquaflows mm -hmm. out and she'll colour a whole sheet of this. And then she'll give it a little bit of a buff and then you've got your gold showing mm -hmm. straight back through. It's stunning because that gold is created and resist. I've had a burgundy I've put on you, I've done you've a navy. Dark blue, I, yeah. like I've done a, have I done a tealy one, I think? As yeah. well. well, you've got the brown, so you've got to make sure that, you know, you've got whatever colour you're putting on it, it's going to be a tad darker anyway yes. because you've got the brown to begin with. It's not going to give you a, pearl, a pale colour, no, it's no, going to give you a rich not. jewelly colour. Mm -hmm. I would say if you want a pale colour, then you need to go to the whites. Yeah. That would be the only Definitely. one I would say. Definitely. And these would take inks perf perfectly as yes, well. Yes, they do. They do because you can ink them and again buff them off and yeah. you get that um, metallic showing back you through. You do. You do. They're fabulous. <laughs> Personal favourite. Oh, <laughs> but I love both of these. Yes, I do. Yeah, I but love I both like this of one because I like crystal drops. Don't I? Yes, you do. So I'll end up crystal dropping every single one of them. Can't help it. I can't help it. As we dropped this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was mine. If you can't tell. Drop that one, we did. <laughs> look, at, look at it. I can't remember who made it. Probably I made that you. one. Yeah. All one. dropped within an inch of its life. I love it. I love it. But it makes a very... Again, it's an opulent yeah, but pattern, isn't it? A simple... So, you know, when you're making so many that they've got to be for packaging or whatever you're making, if you're making one, you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to make a quick one. Yeah. So you get out your foiled craft because you haven't got to put the layers on. That is true. You just, that you just cut true. the outer edge, don't you? Yeah. But it looks like you've cut a gold layer, 
as well. It does. And it looks like you've cut into it. So it does. So I, I really, really like this. That's why that's why I tend to go with this one. Because it looks like a pattern we would have made a die out of. So these, they're all 280 GSM. So they're kind of that in between these yes. stage again. I'm they just are. checking that one is 280. Yeah, yeah, they all are. All 280. Again, good for your memory books. Mm hmm because you've got that stability there. This grey craft, I feel, it does say it's 280, but it must be the finish on it. It must be the way it's made because it feels, it thicker. feels thicker. So it does. I would say this is not really for construction because of the way the cardstock itself has been made. I would say this is just for a really thick layer. Yeah. You know, a really... I, I wouldn't it's use it to strength, construct. Yes, isn't it? It yeah. adds a lot of strength. I definitely wouldn't use the grey for construction. No. But I no, would I wouldn't colour it and use it for a layer. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I love this one. Oh, that would be gorgeous. It's so nice. Or even some of these smaller yes. lines here. Oh, you could add different colours between could. those lines. Oh. You could. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's very nice. This is a bit of play, isn't it? It is, it is. Let's go through our little notes that we've got for this. Um, they are patterned on one side, so when you have a look at the back, you have got the plain. So you've got the white on the white card, you've got the, the rear of the craft, like we said, it's a lighter yeah. craft colour. You've got the black, and, and you've the grey. got the grey there. So that is that. Uh, it can be die cut. It's saying you're harder to cut intricate details. And it can be. It's because of the thickness, though. Yeah. It's not the foiling. It is the thickness, but I would say. I would say, say because it's so patterned, I don't know if I you would cut you pattern wouldn't. into it. it I is, would just it's use... It's my layer. It's yeah. my layer. It's my quick card or box where I cut my layers out of this yeah. because I haven't got time to yes. die cut the layers. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> the, the patterned layers, I mean. Um, we can, oh, there we are, look, you've got it on here already. The all done. All, all good. done. Colour with aqua flows. And yes, that is that. So that is our foiled craft. But again, I feel this is another, we talked a lot about luxury. Mm. And I think this is another luxury element. But I think that's the foiling element of it, I think it? so, I think so. And we go in into more luxury again here because... I've got. <gasps> Look oh, at these. I've got a speciality card. Now, our speciality card is all. Ooh, that's nice. I've forgotten about that one. <gasps> I'd forgotten about that one. <gasps> right. Well, when is on there? Star and oh, Sky. It's the one yes. with the with the the. I say glitter in it, but it's got, it's like a mica it more is. than a glitter. It is. So these are all pearlescent. So they've got the sheen, but they've also got... They've got a coating on them, haven't they? Yeah. So they've got, majority of them have got a texture. So this yeah. one is more flat, but it's got the mica, the little... Oh, you can see it there. Perfect. So you've got the little dots looking like a night sky because it's called Starlit Sky. But the rest of them Look at have that all one. got a texture. You pick up that as well. This one is called Snowbound. That's beautiful. And that is, it's flat. Mm -hmm. But it does look like a bit of a snowstorm. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. So these are 230 GSM. So you go in more than your 216 Classic. Not as much as your uh, 250, which is your pearlescence and your glitters and your mirrors, but you can construct with it. Yeah. Again, because it's pearlescent, you need to be a bit mindful of your adhesive. Yeah. Um, but it, it die cuts beautifully. It does. It, it is does. just that, just in that sweet spot, isn't it? It's got a white core. Yes. All got a white core. Yeah. Sometimes, depending on your machine, you may get a little bit of cracking on the fold mm. sometimes. That's the only thing I would say with this, making boxes. Yeah. Um, if it happens, then get a little bit of ink and go over that fold mm -hmm. line, I would say. Yeah, we've done that as well, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. But 
to be honest with you, because this is more the luxury side of things, I wouldn't be using it for my construction. I'd be using it for my layers. Yeah. Because I know that I'm not going to be wasting my cardstock. I'm going to, I mean, I don't want that on the base of my box. That's far too nice. You could make a card <laughs> blank out of it, though. You can. You can. Again, yeah. for those very special people or those very special occasions. So if I get a card with one of this on, I'll, I'll know. <laughs> you know you're very special. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're all different. So all of the textures are different. So if you can see here, this one, this one's got the lines in it. So this is... Um, that almost looks like a piece crimson of crimson silk. silk. Yeah, this is crimson silk. We've put the card in front of the, of the tag name. here. Uh, but this one then is called the Lilac Waves. And so that you can is lovely. see there's a wave effect on it. I tilt that, yeah. But then you've got Leo's Sage favourite. Roses. Sage roses. She loves this. But you, if you went very, very lightly, you could add a layer of ink oh, you could. over the raised section you of could. this. could. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Then we have blue lace, powder blue lace. But you can see that they're all different. This is what I'm trying to show you. So this is just a selection that we've brought you here. And Flanders blue. Look oh, at the colour on that. That stunning. just pops to me. That they're all luxury stunning. though, aren't they? They're all luxury colours. Absolutely. And you've got that. And I would not be using these as a base. <laughs> no, absolutely as not. As much they're as I love nice. you, you're not having it as a base. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see with this starlit sky, this one is flat, but it's got that mica in the very stuff. Pr very pretty <gasps> there. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Gorge, gorge, gorge. So these are single-sided, as we say. You've got the white backing, which means you've got the white core. And again, you can sand those off. Yes, you can. Can't you? You can. So very, great very for layering and adding that little bit of luxurious texture. Shall I grab? Then we have our last. Is last, this our last? But by no means least. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh to what die without, a, without a layer on it. I know what that is. <laughs> I don't need a layer. Oh my word, these are 12 by 12 pads. Um, there are two sheets and they double side. Two sheets of each pattern and they double sided. Um, so you've got two of each, nine sided. Designs. Nine different designs in yeah. each pack. So that is amazing. And they're 12 by 12, which means that they're Look. just slightly over the, the 300. Let's go this out. <laughs> You know what she's going to show you. This these. is the Mariposa, and this is my favourite, favourite, favourite paper. If you look at our packaging, you see lots <laughs> You'll see of one this. of these as well. <laughs> oh, there is a paper. <gasps> it's in the back. <sighs> and it smells and I nice. I smell too. it. Hang on. Where is it? I've just seen it. Oh, no, we've cut it. Oh. That's all I can see. We've cut into it, have we? Oh, look, this is a sneaky one that we've used. But you've got large designs, so if you're doing big memory books, mm -hmm. there's your covers. But we've also got a smaller Ooh, design. Look at that. You know, maybe you just want a little bit of, mm -hmm. of flowers on a on a layer on a box. Yeah. But you've got even smaller designs. Because look how teeny tiny they are. They're beautiful, aren't they? They'd be perfect just to cut a little card out of. So the um these ones are 200 GSM or 12 by 12 is a 200 GSM. Yes. And they are really substantial, you know. So you, again, these are a paper rather than a cardstock, we would but say. But I would say if it was a small box, yeah, you I would give it a that. go. I would give it a go. You could. I mean, you're only just under craft perfect um, sizes there, yeah. would you? You imagine that cut out on a card with a butterfly cut out again and layered. Yeah. What a stunning card. There's tags in here, there's postcards. Look the at flowers. all the flowers. Even the ones we haven't snaffled. I know, we've used loads of them. Look, you've got little tags in here that you can use, little frames. I just think it's adorable. Mm -hmm. I love it. Strips. Yep. So you've got strips you can cut out. Yeah. Um, look at the back of these postcards. Oh, the vintage ladies as well on this look one. Look at these. You know, that is your montage ready to go onto your card. Uh-huh. That it is, is beautiful. It is. But we don't only do the 12 by 12 sizes there. So the Are 12 by 12. Are you shutting me up? Because... <laughs> 
So you've got mariposa oh, oh. there. We also do, uh, this one is called memories. Beautiful Memories. And if you buy any of these 12 by 12 packs, I'll show you the uh, little tag. There's a tag die that you can there buy is. to, to go is. around those as well, if you don't want to cut them. But we also do some six by six pads. And these are adorable as now, well. Now these are 160 GSM. Because they're smaller, they don't actually need to be as thick. So these are six by... <laughs> We've used this <laughs> We've one. had a little bit of a chomp in you uh, too, haven't we? They're double-sided. So, so we've got eight designs, <laughs> six of each. Everywhere you look, there's something taken out of them. I think it's a full one, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't know, mate. <laughs> but you've no, got... <laughs> Do you think these are straight off our shelves? You'd never guess, would you? But and there's one on the box yes. there. Oh, uh, this is probably why. This is probably why you can see that, that this pattern is straight out of this book. Beautiful. And it is such a pretty pattern. There's the other side. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. But what you'll find with these is they are, they'll die cut. They'll die cut Oh, easily. Easily. They will, oh, we've got a sealed one. Oh, look at this. They'll come but I think with plastic covering them so that you know that they're going to be perfect every time. I just rub my nail on the side and get that All off. these books, even though they've got pinks and things in here, or corals. All these would be suitable for masculine cards. Yes, they would. You can you can always find something to use them for, can't you? You can always oh, find something yeah. in these books. So you can see there, this this is one I've just opened. So we've got this is how many pages you get. You don't get half sheets, you don't get anything. So you've got um eight designs and six of each. So there's forty eight Sheets I think it's 24 of... sheets because they're double sided. <sighs> I think that's 48 what it is. sides is what you get. Yeah, I think you get 24 sheets. Right, so you can see there that each page will be double sided. And you can see that they all match. So, whatever book you buy, you can use the first with the last. You can use both of the same sheet yeah. either side of it. Do you know what I mean? They're all all perfect with each other. Love them. Absolutely and if you've cut a box them. where you want to see the inside as well, or you've cut yes. an aperture into something, yeah, line it, and you want to see mm. back and front, you've got two beautiful patterns on each side. They all work really well with all of our colours of cardstock because what you'll find is that the card will be designed the papers will be designed to correspond with the card yeah you'll always find a mirror you'll always find a glitter yeah. there'll always be something to go with i mean this this coral skies book is oh i love it stunning one. i love it absolutely so you've got your 12 by 12s in the 200 you've got your six by sixes in the 160 gsm they will die cut beautifully they are double sided so even if you're just doing a bit of paper folding so anything like that, any if you're cutting tea bag folding, if you're yes. doing iris yes. folding, any type of paper yeah. folding like that. I tell you what I do like is the when you, you do the um paper pleating. Yes. Because you want to see the two sides then, you do. don't you? You do. I That's love that. That's a nice that. idea. I love that so much. They do die cut really well and they are great for layers for your quick boxes that Oh, I need to make this box, but I yeah. really haven't got time to decorate it. Oh, I just got some pattern paper. It's fine. Absolutely. It's fine. Absolutely. It's fine. So, and obviously, for your card making, beautiful for card making. Yes, I think so. I think with, I would oh, say for card making, with the with the small 6x6 six six books, your patterns are smaller. Yes, there's so nothing worse than a 12 by 12 pattern. That's honest, why I like these. Because they're all broken down inside yeah. as well, yeah. They suit your large pa your large projects, your small projects. Yes, they do. And everything in between. They do. And of course, with the 6 by 6s they're perfect for card making. Absolutely. So, shall we just recap? Consider what you're making. Yeah. Just think about... How big your project's going to be? Do I need, um, um, is my box going to be 
big if my box is going to be big then i'm going to need a more solid cardstock yes if i'm making a big box made out of small components then i can still use a, a if you're doing stock. the big kaleidoscope box you're gonna then you're gonna need thick. a 300 gsm yeah, yeah definitely. if you're doing the teeny tiny one that's about two inches tall mm -hmm. then you can get away with a 216 you can you certainly give can. it a thought you certainly can um is my box gonna have curved edges definitely a lighter cardstock yeah. definitely um if you are making a bigger box and you think oh i've made this and it's really not thick enough add a layer yeah <laughs> add a layer and that doesn't mean just on the outside if that's still not thick enough add, add a layer on to on the, the inside. inside as well we've done that as well yeah and especially especially if there's a color that you really really need yes and you can only get that in the thinner then you layer it up sometimes mine is nice to line with a satin or a mirror yes, card it is again for that extra luxury yeah depending on what you're going to put into it yeah so if you've got like we say the the cards that are nice and and thick and heavy and big like this so if this was just a normal opening card we've got structure in this because we've got that inside piece but if you've got a big card like that and you've layered on the front and it's going boop, then all you have to do is layer the inside so you can add more weight here yeah. on the back anywhere you can layer the inside of your card as well and that I will have give you a penny or a two pence as well so if you've got now we haven't got one on here but sometimes you have the handmade buy i've put a i've put a penny underneath, underneath my handmade that. buy <laughs> oh now your secrets are coming now oh, no. you get an extra if you rip it apart you get an extra extra gift all for a penny. All for a penny. Um, yeah, but you need to, if you if you put it forward, then you know you need to counterbalance that yeah. on the back. Um, but if you're only making small cards, say they are little oh, four yes. by four cards, or even these little ones, eight two yeah. cards, yeah. then even a two sixteen would be absolutely fine for them. It would. It would. I mean, little you gift definitely, cards. Definitely get fine. away with that. Um, we do like to think of mirror and glitter as an accent. We do. Because we don't want to waste it. Oops. A little does go it a does very, go a long very way. long way. And also, a little gives a lot to your project, I yeah. think. Yeah, it does. You'll often find our packaging has got a little bit of it. Yeah. Not loads, but it will have a little bit. It will. Um, and remember to consider your adhesive. So whatever your cardstock is, make sure you pick your adhesive to match. So if you've got a miri like this, so this is a speciality. So you want to make sure that these edges are going to stay stuck. Oh, and there, they're going to stay stuck. So you've got that inside there. You can see they're all glued perfectly. So this has probably been done with a little bit of tape and glue. a little bit of wet glue, I would say. And remember that when you are putting on layers on top of, you can see here again, we've got speciality card here stuck onto glitter the card no. i can't figure out where my spot is we've lost some tape on the I desk know, we're stuck on the back <laughs> of something. you can see there that you really do need to attach that well so this one here is glued with wet glue so it's it's soaked into the back of the speciality and then it's soaked into the glitter on the glitter card so you've got all those lovely layers when yeah. you use a tape, it just puts a layer in between mm. the two layers of card. It does. When you put a glue, it's almost like fingers mm, that go into, into the both fiber. layers, the top layer and the bottom yeah. layer. And that's what holds it together. It's not yeah. just that one film. Yeah. So that's why we recommend the wet glue more. Definitely. Think of how long you want your project to last mm. as well. You've put a lot of time into that project. Do you just want it to be five minutes? And it could be, it's a children's birthday party. They're only going to be there two hours and mm. everything's going in the bin. 
then it doesn't matter so much then, no, does it? No, that's right. But if you're giving a special gift to someone, then you want that gift to be cherished and loved for as long as possible. Yes. And then I would say, use your glue. Use your glue, definitely. I well, think we've done a glue. I think we have as well. We've run through glues as well as cardstock. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you've learned something from all of this chatter. Um, refer back to us. Keep us. Refer back to us. Think yeah. of what you want. When you go to make a project, think, oh, what card did I want now? Check back. We'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, why not save the video? Yeah. Save and under your YouTube bits, there's a little thing to save, isn't is. there? And you can save it, yeah, and then go back to it because you know where it is. Then, but if you do like this type of content, if you could give us a little thumbs up, give us a little subscribe, and we'll be there for you all the time. Tell your friends, we'll, we'll be we'll be there when you want us, and just join us for more. We're always doing something around here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Something we shouldn't probably. <laughs> I honestly, I hope that you have uh, gained something from this type of content because this is something that we want to bring you. We want to, mm. I don't know, a bit more education, bit more, yeah. a bit more inspiration. And if you've got a question, pop it in the comments below because yes. we will see it. And we will answer it. We will get back to you and on that. And there may be a video for whatever you're answering. Yes, that's right. Whatever you're asking, rather. Yeah, yeah, we may, we may need to show you, rather <laughs> than just tell you. We're not very good at writing. <laughs> We'd rather come and tell you. <laughs> now, thank you so much for joining us today. And we will see you all very soon. Happy crafting. Mm.